you're from New Zealand. I mean, I'm sure you're tired about people calling New Zealand chokers at every World Cup since they won it back in 1987. It's on home soil this time. Are they going to choke again? Well, I, that's the that's the million dollar question. I mean, I suppose every year, a bit like Brazil, a bit like Germany in football, every year New Zealand or the All Blacks have been the perennial favourites. I was involved in 1987, and if you'd said to me they wouldn't win a, a World Cup after that for the next 25 years or even have a chance, it you know you'd eat your hat. But uh, no, I think I think they've got to manage them. What's pro what's happened before is they haven't probably been managed. I mean, last time out there was a rotation system that didn't work. The year before that, I suppose you know then there was a issue whether you like it or not. I suppose about the food poisoning in South Africa the year that Lomu was involved. So they've had their ups and downs but I think really this is the year for them to do it I know it's New Zealand with the earthquake with what's going on there emotionally I think that they're probably you're not being arrogant here they're probably on their day 10 to 15 points better than any other international side they proved that a couple of weeks ago in New Zealand against Australia who would have been probably the co-favourites so I think as long as they keep the rudder straight as long as they can manage the kind of expectation uh, then I think it's theirs to lose there's going to be extreme pressure on them, but I think guys are a bit four years older now, the likes of Dan Carter, the likes of Richie McCaw. Um, I really can't see them messing up. Now, that's not to say they won't, and there's always a team like the French, there's always a team like the English or the Irish, even Australians, that can get it up for that one match, and that's their key match. So, But I think, yeah, I think New Zealand's going to do it this year.